Hello guys, in this video we are going to review how to get installed Vagrant on your Windows machine. So first of all you should have installed three applications. The first one is a Git. Please download the latest available version from Git official website. Uh, currently it's 2.26.1 but more likely when you will see this video there will be more latest version so download it and get it installed. The next application that we need is of course Vagrant, so please download a latest Windows available version and get it installed. And the third one is VirtualBox. Please download the latest available stable release. So when you have all three applications installed, we are good to go. Let's type here git bash, git bash. Uh, while actually you are installing git application, make sure that you have uh, git bash bugs checked during the installation. We need this functionality to be installed. So once again, git bash here, then right click, run as admin user, okay, just to be on safe side. And it actually opens a window, a command line window, and we need to check where we are, so type pwd. And we are in the root directory of my user. So from here, I'm going to create uh, actually project folder for Vagrant installation. But as long as this folder is already created on my machine, because I use a PHP Storm application for my project, so I store everything in PHP Storm project, I'm going to go to CD, PHP Storm projects. And here I have the list of my available projects. Here they are using the command ls and I'm going to actually set up here Vagrant installation. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create new folder. In your case, you can actually create this folder from the root directory of your username or whatever. It doesn't make much sense, but for me, I keep everything in one folder. So here I'm typing mkdir, it's a command to create folder and the name of the folder. Let's call it test Vagrant. Okay, so mkdir test vagrant. Okay, we have created folder. Let's check it. Test vagrant. And from here, let's go to this folder. Okay. And we are in the uh, root directory of potential vagrant setup. So let's actually get the things done. So I'm going to execute the command. This command will be provided at the bottom to this video. So it's vagrant init HashiCorp bionic64. And here is the command. Let's run it. And it will take a while. Okay, so actually command executed. And now we have a config file inside the directory. Let's find it. So we have new file called vagrant file. Let's actually edit it. I'm going to use Reddit editor vi and here I'm typing vagrant. Okay. And we have opened this uh, editor and we need to uncheck a couple of rows. Actually, uncomment them. So the first one is this. Let me uncomment it. Config VM network and quest 80 to 8080. It means that our vagrant will be actually proxied to port number 8080. I will show you later. But please uncomment this row. And let's scroll down. We also need to uncheck, uh, uncomment this one. Let's do it. And here let's uh, slightly modify it. Let's type uh, dot inside. So it will, it will actually tell Vagrant that it needs to check in the root directory. Let me check. Okay, and that inside. And here, Vagrant data. Let's actually leave it as it is. Okay. Then I'm gonna save it. I'll press Shift uh, button on my keyboard, and then uh, two dot symbol, and then I'm typing WQ. Okay. So we have saved configuration. Now it's time to actually get uh, Vagrant 
uh, installed. So I'm going to run command vagrant up. Okay, and it will start build the virtual box. So let's wait a little bit. Okay, we have installed Vagrant. Now we need to install a web server inside the Vagrant. So let's open Vagrant. The command will be Vagrant SSH. And it should actually let us log into the Vagrant. And let's make sure that we are inside of Vagrant. So I'm going to type command who I am. Okay. Not correct. Let's fix it. And we are inside Vagrant. Let's make sure that we are in. And from here, let's actually switch to admin user. sudo s. And let's get a patch web server installed. So let's install it. Command apt install y page 2 Oops, mistake okay we need to actually update the database so let me update the database comment will be update okay now let's repeat the command to install the Apache Okay, great. We have installed Apache for Vagrant and we are almost done. The last thing that we need to do is to make sure that everything works. Let's try combination control D to exit in the root directory. Okay, we're in the root directory. Let's make sure. Okay, I'm Alex here. And from here, uh, let's make sure that we have the index HTML file or index PHP file to make sure that everything works. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create this file. The command would be touch and the name of the file index HTML. Okay. And inside file, let's type something. So I'm going to open it using, using a VI editor. Okay. And here let's put something like Okay, let's save it with your comment. And let's try to launch Vagrant to make sure that it works. So I'm going to open localhost and port 8080. Let's try. Okay, it works, but for some reason it doesn't open the right page. Let's probably return to the config page and make some adjustments. So I'm going to open command line again. And here I'm going to edit background file. Okay, let's let's play with this with this row. Let's slightly modify it and let's try to update the path var www html and let's close it okay once again let's save it let's entirely re restart the vagrant command will be vagrant reload let's wait for a while Okay, let's try to refresh the browser part. Okay, and here is the page. Hello. So now it works fine. So this was a short tutorial how to get Vagrant installed on Windows machine. And if this was helpful for you, please thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. All the best.